what's up beautiful magical people i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i hope you guys are enjoying the last of the summer because i am not and i like fall fall is my favorite favorite of all time season like i don't know why i love thanksgiving i love halloween i love the leaves changing i love it I love that, you know, it's sweater weather and it's just like, I just, I just love it and love it, love it, love it. Hate the summer, hate the winter. The spring is alright, but I get allergies, so not okay. My ideal season is definitely fall and I'm looking forward to it. Now that I am pregnant in the fall, I'm just like so excited. I'm like, oh, I can wear all of my Uggs and my cardigans and all my flannel stuff and everything but anyway this is the, um, my what is it I am 6 15 weeks oh, oh, I was gonna go a little fast <laughs> I am 15 weeks pregnant and like three days I think it is and this is my 14 week update because um, like I said guys I'm going to do it um, when my whole week is up so then when I'm 16 weeks I'll talk about my 15 week because I can't really talk about my 15 week because I didn't really finish it so yes anyway um there's some news and things like that when I just found out and yeah so let me just get right into it and everything so 14 weeks pregnant is was pretty good it was fine until I actually got some bleeding and it freaked me out. I was really scared. I was just like, I called my doctor, my OB. My OB was like, oh, go to the hospital. And I was at work and, you know, I was like, you know what? It was, um, I don't know if I should go to the hospital. My husband's like, oh, I'll come right now. I'm like, no, what if, the, you know, we need that time for the baby and things like that. So anyway, I was just like, let me just go to the hospital um, and I ended up going to the hospital, which was a really good thing because I ended up finding out that I have a rare condition called, um, placenta previa. I think that's, yeah, previa. I think that's what it's called. Placenta previa. Um, it's basically, I think I have, they, they have not explained to me very much, which I'm really, um, upset about. The hospital said that my OB should explain more, but I can't see my OB until two weeks later. And... I don't know that's just a whole thing but basically what they're saying is that there's three types of um, placenta previa there is a um, the one where it's hovering near the cervix but it's not covering the cervix and then you have the partial which is partially covering the cervix and then you have complete which is it completely covers the cervix so I either have the partial or the complete because I am on pelvic rest and um, yeah so I don't know which one I have, but um, this is a really serious thing because me and the baby can bleed out and I have to watch out for bleeding and I won't be able to deliver vaginally like I would hoped. I might have to um, get a C-section a month before my due date. So this is now a high-risk pregnancy and, you know, I'm really sad about it, but, you know, at the same time, I'm glad that my baby's all right and everything's okay. I mean, Lorenzo was happy and fine. He was moving around. He was he was good, you know, so the doctor's like, yeah, the baby's fine. Everything's fine. The baby is measuring perfectly at his um, thing. He was actually, um, his head was measuring 15 weeks, five days, 15 weeks, four days, um, his body though was measuring 15 weeks and, um, everyone else has been measuring like 15 weeks, three days, 15 weeks, two days, 15 weeks, four days, things like that. So he is like a few days ahead, which I'm really proud of because that's good, um, for the baby. You don't want the baby to be behind. You want the baby to be ahead, but yes. So other than that, that was pretty much it that I had, um, that was scary in 14 weeks. 14, 15 weeks, because I went to the hospital when I was 15 weeks, exactly. But it happened when I was 14 weeks, so that's what I'm telling you guys in this update. Um, so, yeah, pretty much um, I have to call my OB. I called my OB. I got really upset with, um, with them because they could not see me, and the hospital said I needed to see my OB 24, um, between 24 and 48 hours after they released me. And I'm trying to see them, and they're like, oh, well, 
we don't have any time for you and stuff like that can you come on like a monday or tuesday at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon i'm like i can't i go to work like not even like if it's an eight o'clock thing you know i can be like okay i'm an hour late how am i gonna be four hours late to my job and i don't even know if they're gonna i would have to take the whole day off which i just got this job i'm not gonna do that and you know so i'm like you know what the baby's fine lorenzo's fine i know what the, i listened to them i went to the hospital if I, the hospital told me if i see any more bleeding or anything else change i need to go right away and um go to the hospital so i'm fine i was really upset i told them that i was going to change my ob because of the way they're treating me and everything like that and um i'm going to go to my next appointment and i'm going to talk to the doctor about how i do not like how um they are treating me and the fact that um I'm a first time mom and I don't I don't know all of these things like I don't know what to do and how to do it so I need an OB that I can rely on that I can count on that I can um, trust and I don't trust them and that's something that I just can't have you're going to deliver my child I need to be able to trust you and if you're gonna act like this the whole time then I cannot be a part of your thing and I need to make a new OB um, I need to find a new OB and you know the fact that they're just to me they just feel like I just feel like they're just it's like an assembly line they don't really care and I don't like that I'm a new time mom I'm gonna be freaked out on little things that that you know happen I need to have you know even if they say oh come in um, come in that day and to come in that day maybe we'll have a cancellation maybe we can squeeze you in if you're running five minutes literally all you have to do is make me pee in a cup um, and then give me an ultrasound and let me see the doctor and that's it literally that's like the most it would be is 30 minutes 30 minutes of all the time that they would be able to be with me is 30 minutes you're telling me that you cannot run over 30 minutes late just to squeeze me in maybe there's a cancellation maybe someone came in late maybe they you know like you're telling me that you cannot do that you cannot go out of your way and say you know what this, she just came from the hospital you, uh, let me go and give her um, that 30 minutes of my time I might I usually leave at 5 but I'm gonna leave at 5 for 30 today so just in case my patient is okay that I don't think is right but anyway enough of my rambling I just wanted to update you about my pregnancy Lorenzo it's great he is awesome he is the size of a what is he the size of I know he's the size of an avocado right now I think he was the size of something else before. I can't really remember. <laughs> but he's the size of the avocado right now. So, yes. I'm really happy and excited. And I can't wait to meet him. He is moving around a little bit more that I can feel him a little bit. But it's not so strong enough that I can say, yes, that's the baby. But I'm 15 weeks, almost 16 weeks. And I'm like, oh, yes, I can't wait. So, I can't wait till I can announce to you guys that I actually feel Lorenzo. So, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button down there. So you can know when I put up new videos. And you guys are, should be, um, I have to edit, not edit, I have to, um, yeah, make the titles and things like that because I still have it private. But you should, you should be up to date. By next week, I promise you guys, you guys are going to be all up to date. You guys are going to see me and pretty much be right there with me. Um, so yeah, so let me cut this short before it cuts me off and I hope you guys have a beautiful magical day and enjoy the rest of you guys summer and happy fall. So bye guys.